Okay guys, here's our segment on chapter three, which is unit two, uh, beginning parts of measurement and problem solving. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is two different ways that we can make measurements. We can do that qualitatively or we can do that quantitatively. Now when we do it qualitatively, that's the qualities of something. So if you look at people that have good qualities and poor qualities, usually you're talking about aspects of their life that are non-numerical. However, if you want to quantify something, or have a quantity of something, then we're looking at numerical stuff. So what you see on the screen here is we have four different images, and we're gonna go through each one of them and say, okay, what is a quality of these, what we see, and what is a quantity of these? So we're gonna start over here with our red box. And if we look, okay, the box is red, okay? It's a square, it has curved sides, there's a black line around it. Those are all nice qualities of the box. So one of them might be just to say, hey, this is a red box. Now, to way to quantify this, you could actually measure and say the perimeter of this is, you know, three centimeters, or the diameter or the, the length of one side is 1.5 centimeters. Um, you could say the width of the black line around it is, you know, two millimeters, whatever that quantitative number is. Even the color red you could quantify. You could say that this red puts off 650 nanometer light or you actually could get the numerical code for that color red and say this is the numerical code for red uh, on a computer screen. So those are all quantities that we can talk about. If we move down to the rock and I say, okay, how heavy is this or what do you know about this rock? You say, oh, it's kind of a silver color. It's got jagged edges. Those are all qualities. Uh, you could say that this is probably a dense substance because it's a rock, it's metallic. Um, or you can actually look up the numerical value and say, oh, this is 11.35 grams per milliliter. That is my density. So that is a numerical value or a quantity. If we move over to this gentleman over here who seems to have a lot of confidence in himself, uh, we can just say he's short. Um, or he's shorter than the tall person or whatever we want to say or he's not, he's not confident. Um, otherwise, we could quantify and say that he's only four foot tall. Uh, again, so qualitative versus quantitative. And of course, we go down to my favorite, uh, the new C7 Corvettes, and we say this is a fast car. Um, otherwise, uh, you could say that the car can reach speeds up to 205 miles per hour. Again, these are just some examples of quality versus quantity, okay? Um, just kind of get those two terms uh, sorted out in your heads because when we do lab, I'll, I'll ask you guys to qualify things and to quantify things. So when the term comes up, hey, I want you to qualify this, that means I want you to give me descriptors. If, it's, if I say I want you to quantify, that means I want you to actually do measurements that require numerical input to them. Okay, so that's qualitative versus quantitative. All right, this ends this segment. We're going to move on to another segment next. Thank you.